What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here with my LBZ, uh, trying to tackle something that I've been needing to do for a while. This kit, it's called a finger stick, is this thing, and then the blocker plate is for the EGR. So, what this thing does is it prevents your motor from getting sludge and stuff that recirculates back into the motor and can do some damage, long-term damage. Um, so what this kit does is it blocks air from going to the EGR valve and it tricks the ECU into not throwing a check engine light. So if you're in a bigger city like me and you have to have it emissions compliant, this is what you need. The tools that I needed, you could probably use different tools for this install. <clears throat> for the uh, the blocker plate back here, which you'll see in a minute, these were extremely helpful. Mine for some reason had a 12 and a 13, but if you've got, they should both be 13s if yours has never been touched. Um, but these helped a lot. You could probably use a regular wrench if you uh, needed to. It might be a little bit more difficult, but this helped out a lot. Um, wire strippers, electrical tape, soldering wire, and a soldering gun. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is remove this hose um, that attaches the mass airflow sensor uh, air box to the intake tube. So two flat blade um, worm screws that hold those uh, clamps in place and that, that whole piece will just pop out. What I've got is kind of a, a specialty tool. You might be able to do it without this, but this looks like it's going to work really well. So one thing to note is when you put this plate in, it is going to slide on the engine side of this gap. So you want the OEM gasket to be on the pressure side, which is towards the firewall. And then you want the blocker plate to be towards the engine, towards the front of the truck. So all you're gonna do is Slide this in. And the slide edges just slide in between the bolts here. This stupid dipstick right in the way. Oh, it's working. Take the part. recommend to do is start it and check for any leaks before it gets hot so we're just gonna put our fingers around here see if we got any leaks 
you'll have to temporarily put this tube back on so your mass airflow sensor will read properly. feel any air so should be golden so that's how you do the blocker plate not too bad took about 30 minutes all right on to the next step installing this guy which is called the power stick Power stick? Finger stick. <laughs> okay. All right, so according to Kennedy Diesel's website, on this sensor, the thing that fools the ECU, green is your map sensor output, yellow is map sensor input, red is gonna be your power, blue, is EGR position input and gray is going to be your ground. So the first wire that we're going to tap into here right under where this big hose was um, this is your EGR actual EGR valve. So the, the closest one to the passenger side on the bottom of this connector is a brown and white wire. That's going to be your EGR input wire so we're gonna tap into this. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is the MAF sensor wires right here that go into this loom right here. So what I'm gonna do is just pull all these wires out up to about here, just to make sure that we are attaching to the correct wires here. So this way we can verify that we've got the right wires. And the reason why they say, like, don't just tap it here is because this is only so long. So the whole idea is the blue EGR wire is in this loom right here, the big loom. So we're gonna pull that, and this is just gonna be tucked inside here somewhere. So that's why we're going to the center here instead of just, like, attaching this here. Brown with a white stripe. Where are you at, homeboy? All right, here's a brown wire. Does it have a white stripe? It does. Perfect. Right there. There you have it, boys and girls. So here's our brown wire. Brown with a white stripe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to not cut this wire, but I'm going to just strip back some of it just like that. Now on the other side, I'm going to find that wire, same wire, right here. So it's going to be this bottom left pin and I'm just going to set my meter to continuity and this one so when you tap these together it will beep so we're just verifying here that this wire and this wire are the same brown white okay same wire so we got this soldered in my camera just decides to stop recording randomly so I might need a new one but that's soldered in so we're going to tape that now so we got our blue wire in place all right so these are the wires that go to our map sensor. So, 
for the red, I'm gonna kind of just measure like roughly so this sits in here nicely. I'm gonna tap into pink wire here. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna pull the insulation back a smidge like that. Just enough to where I can get my wire wrapped around there and soldered. So let's go ahead and take our red, strip it back a little bit further here. And just wrap it around like that. Black is the next one I want to tap into. So I'm just going to follow this. Actually, it's gray with a black stripe. It looked black up there just from all the dirt. So I'm going to continue following this down. It's gray with a black. <clears throat> Let's cut it like about right here. And then our gray wire will tap in just like that. So cut our gray wire, strip it. And then we'll just strip this back just like that. around a few times so our power and ground are done we have two wires left and that's it, we're done. So again, what's happening here is, let's get this set up. Ooh, why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> so yellow is math in. So we're gonna intercept this wire right here. So we're gonna cut our yellow wire Now, what the map sensor is reading is coming in through this yellow wire. We're going to intercept that reading. Right here. So yellow from the map sensor is going to go to yellow on the finger stick. Now, previously this went from the map sensor to the ECU. So what it's doing now is it's going through the fire stick back out this green wire, fooling, altering that signal and then going back to the ECU. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is we're going to spin this around like that and then attach it so it'll be a little bit cleaner here. Come on. Okay. So these are our last two connections here. <clears throat> All 
right, so that's all of the wiring. We're gonna come out of this little guy right here. If you can see that, that little channel. So before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap these up with some tape. All right, so next we're going to pop this piece back on. Put it back in its home here. Alright. Plug this guy back in. that and that is the last step basically so not too bad it took maybe what a couple hours last thing is just to uh, pop this guy back on Ta-da! Alright, so that is how you put in a EGR blocker on an LBZ. We're going to take it for a spin and make sure that we've got no uh, check engine lights. <laughs> Thank you for that. I took it for a spin. No check engine lights, running good. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helps. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if you thought this was helpful and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one later.